Coach, uh, you said a few weeks back that you can tell when players have that look where they know that they can win. You said your guys, they didn't quite have that look yet, but they were getting there. Do they have that look now in your view? Well, we had it tonight, but, you know, um, the, when we have the look is when we win a game against the top quality team, they don't storm the court. So, but, uh, I, I just, um, I thought we played as hard as they did, and uh, that's all we talked about doing is matching their energy, um, and I, I thought we did a great job of that. Um, we beat a quality team, and you know, when you beat a quality team, you got to have a little confidence, so I, I think we probably did have that look. Coach, give me your thoughts about the backcourt offense and the backcourt defense of Nick Moore and Nick Russell this evening for you. Well, we didn't have a press very well, so I'm, um, you know, guards, when people press you late in the game, you ought to, you ought to make them pay. So I was a little down on that, that regard. Thank God for Ben Moore. But um, Nick Russell, I mean, Kilpatrick's tremendous, and they run a lot of stuff for him. And, he knows how to use screens, and he's a good offensive player as we played against. And you know, when you hold him for five to eighteen, you know, I think you've done an amazing job. And Nick, Nick, Moore kept people in front of him. You know, the point guard can keep people in front of you. You know, you don't have to help, and uh, that's always huge for us. We, when we play our best, is when we get. You know, good ball pressure and keep people from penetration and make people shoot outside shots. And I think all our guards did a phenomenal job in that regard. Sterling, you know, Cranlow coming in. Um, but the, <coughs> the most important thing, Marcus got in foul trouble after six minutes. And Cannon won the game. You know, he, he gave us a chance to... You know, stay in the game with Marcus on the bench, and Marcus has, you know, been a huge part of our team. So that was, that was the key. Larry, when you took this job, fan apathy, <coughs> fan apathy was an issue, and tonight you saw and felt the atmosphere out there. What was it like for you? I hadn't seen fan apathy even my first year. You know, the people that came were great, but we weren't, we weren't a good enough team for them to come see. Um, you know, from a personal standpoint, I love I love that team and what they brought, and I think they their efforts set a foundation for what we're seeing now. But um, you know, June told me it could be like this. Steve Steve said it would be like this. You know, I just think if you, we have a beautiful building, if we didn't have a good team, all we'd have is a beautiful building. You know, so and when you're you're in a pro town with a an owner like Mark, and who's done such a phenomenal job, you you got to be pretty good for people to come see see you play, and I, I think that's the neat thing. Um, I didn't imagine it would be like this this quickly, but I, I I was hopeful, you know, we could get it where people wanted to see our team play, and would appreciate the fact that we're playing hard and playing the right way. So this. It's much quicker than I imagined, and uh, I'm real thankful we're here. Larry, eight and two in your last ten games, thirteen at home. You beat three ranked teams. What do you take away from this game besides a win? Well, I, you know, I think they were seventh ranked in the country. They were on a 15-game winning streak. Nobody's gotten over 67 points in a long time. Um, Nobody in the country plays harder than them or is better coach. Uh, I, I just so proud of my team. I mean, when you can beat Cincinnati the way they've been playing, when you can beat Connecticut the way they are and the tradition they have, and you can beat Memphis, um, I don't care where you play. That, that's a huge accomplishment, but we haven't accomplished what we all want, you know, we're just hoping to get better, and uh, there's still a lot of big games ahead for us, and there are a lot of goals we want to achieve, and 
but I, again, I'm I'm so proud of this group. Um, I'm going to enjoy tonight, uh, giving them the day off tomorrow, which I'm not real good about. Um, <coughs> and we'll get ready on Monday. Was the energy level the big difference between this game and the game on New Year's in Cincinnati? Um, um, we you got to understand, that was our first conference road game. Uh, it wasn't, and I, I'm not knocking Conference USA, but, you know, that was against a quality team away from home, a first conference game. We weren't prepared to play a big game like that. That being said, we had a chance to win that game. Um, we didn't know how to win it. We're so much better than we were that night. But I think Cincinnati's better. But I, honestly, this is one game. You know, my whole, and I love the students being involved. I want them to, you know, be excited for what's going on. And this is not anything, but they don't storm the court in Kansas. You know, they don't storm the court at UCLA. Um, I'm so happy that we had that opportunity. Um, but I'm hopeful if we ever get this program the way we would like, that we expect to win games like this. Coach, along the same theme, you'll most likely be ranked for the first time in a long time. Will that be something that you'll address a little bit with these guys? I addressed it before the game. You know, um, you know, Nick Russell and Sean are fifth-year seniors. They're, they're phenomenal. He talked about his three seniors. And they're pretty special, but, you know, I'm so happy for these guys. So we want to give them an opportunity to play the last year and have a chance to, you know, be a special part of a special program. And uh, we talked about it. I hope, I hope it happens. I don't know if it will. You know, a lot of crazy things can happen this weekend. But um, everybody was telling me, Sports Center and all these brilliant guys were telling everybody we could win. I, I'm glad I didn't hear it till after the game. But I'm, I hope it happens for this school, um, you know, for our program and for the guys that are on our team. You've talked in recent weeks about um, how effective Marcus Kennedy has been, especially since Yannick Morera got hurt. If someone had told you you'd get four points and three <coughs> rebounds out of Marcus and win a game like this, what would you have said? I thought he was great, to be honest with you. I, you know, he, he guarded Jackson, you know, he anchored our defense, he handled the ball except for the last time against the press pretty effectively. <coughs> No, but I knew Cannon was going to play great. That's why I took him out. You know, I told him he was going to play great. So, but uh, I, I learned a long time ago from my college coach, Coach McGuire. They wrapped dead fish in garbage in stat sheets the day after. So, you know, for me, I see contributions from guys in different ways, and I hope that they hear it from me. And, and understand that, you know, please yourself, please the coaches, and we'll take care of the results. So he was great in my mind.